Welcome to Gian's World. Oh, the science! Welcome to Gian's World of Science! Yeah! Hey guys, uh, welcome to Gideon's World of Science. This is kind of a new segment that we're doing. Basically what we're gonna be doing is fun experiments. Uh, yeah. Nothing too crazy scientific, I am not a science teacher, but they're gonna be just fun experiments with mostly household stuff, the stuff that you can make yourself and do yourself. Today's theme yeah. is... We're doing bubbles! Bubbles! Yeah. So everything we're gonna do today is gonna be all about bubbles. Okay, so first things first, we need a bubble mixture. You can actually make your own bubble mixture at home and it works really well. And it's actually cheaper because you can make it in bulk, you can bottle it, put it in jars, whatever. So we're gonna make our bubble mixture first. Are you ready? Yeah! Okay, so we need just a few simple ingredients. We need a bowl, Dawn dish soap, glycerin, measuring cup, a tablespoon, distilled water. First, we got the bowl. Okay, here's our bowl to make our mixture in. Here's our water. And it's very important that it's distilled water. Um, regular tap water does not work as well. All right, so we need six cups of water. Count them out. Yeah. One. There's one cup, pour it in. Good job. Two. Pour it in. Three. Whoa. Four. Don't move it. Here's five, five, six. Okay, we all done, we all done. That's Good job. all. Next is the dish soap. We're gonna do one cup. All the way to one cup, anyway. Here's our one cup of dish soap. Whoa! Whoa. Good this job. If we're using regular Dawn, it's only one tablespoon of glycerin, but since we're using the ultra concentrated, we wanna use two tablespoons of glycerin. Okay, here's one tablespoon. Number two. Let's mix it up. It's growing faster. Perfect, okay. All done. All right, so we got our bubble mixture all done. Yep. Once again, that was six cups of water, one cup of Dawn dish soap, two tablespoons of glycerin. We're gonna take some bubble mixture, we're gonna dip our hand in it. You wanna try it? And spread it around. So we want our surface good and wet for this. Bubble inside of the bubble. Bubble inside of the bubble. Yeah! All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna dip our straw in our in our bubble mixture. We're gonna put it right here. Do you wanna try it? Keep going. Got it! Look how big of a bubble you made. Yes! Okay, take your dry finger, touch the bubble. Pops. It pops. Stop, stop, stop. Now dip your finger in there. And if our finger's wet, just the very tip of your finger. Look. It doesn't pop. We can touch the bubble. So here's the trick. Okay, we take our straw, we blow a bubble. Okay, now we're gonna dip our straw in the bu bubble mixture again. Uh -oh. Now that it's wet, we can go inside the bubble and we're gonna try to put a bubble inside of the bubble. Check it out. It's a bubble inside of a bubble. Do you think we can do three? Yes. One, Let's two. Try it. Stop, stop. Three. Three. Five. Okay, you try blowing. Okay. Okay, there's one. There's two. Two. There's three. Four. There's four. There's five. There's five. Yeah! Ah, oh, pretty cool, huh? Yeah. So that was bubble inside of a bubble. You ready for our next experiment? Yes! This one's called the L bubble snake. Bubble snake? Yeah, and it's, huh? it's really easy. You just need one water bottle with the bottom cut out of it, one sock, and a rubber band. Yep. So this is how you make a bubble snake. You take a water bottle, you take just a standard sock. We're gonna take our sock, what? And we're gonna put it over the bottle, and like what? so. And kind of roll it back a little bit, like that. <laughs> then we take our rubber band, yeah. and we fit it over the sock. This is basically what you're looking for. You're looking for a sock folded over a water bottle with the end cut out of it, and you put a rubber band over it to hold it in place. So Pretty simple. Okay. Do we want to see what happens? Yes. We're going to 
dip the sock dip it. in the bubble mixture, and all you gotta do is blow. And it makes a bubble snake. What do you think about that? That's cool. We're gonna use flute coloring. Yes. Okay, now this is how you make it go from cool to really cool. Yeah. You ready? Yes. We add food coloring. Yes. Now you take your food coloring and you drip it. Well, I was gonna drip. Oh. Like that. We get a colored bubble snake. It's green and blue. But yeah, pretty cool. Whoa! Bubble snake! Bubble snake! We're ready for our next experiment. Yes. This one is called the bubble cube. <gasps> this is our bubble cube maker, cube. but I'm gonna show you guys how to make it. What we need is 12 straws. Can you count me out 12 straws? All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good job. So, the first step is to take eight of the straws. Straight. Pull it straight like that. There's four, five, seven, eight. The next step is we're gonna take our remaining four straws and we're gonna cut them right underneath the little scrunchy part. No, no, cut, no. cut, cut. Like so. Now, the next thing we need is four skewers. Adult supervision, make sure that they're uh, helping you with this kind of stuff. Okay, so what we did is we're gonna measure these from the pointed end to about seven inches. We already marked these ones. Because these are really hard to cut, I'm gonna use my little special snips and cut them, like so. So, we have our four skewers pointy in. Make sure you keep the pointy in. Yeah. They're about seven inches long. Mm -hmm. We got our eight straws with the bendy parts stretched out, and then we got our four straws cut that were uh, cut just underneath the bendy part as well. So we're gonna take our tip like this, and we're gonna squeeze it, and bend it inside of itself, just like that. And we take the long end of our other straw, and we stick it over top of the straw, and you slide it all the way until it gets to the other scrunchy spot. Now we gotta do this all the way around, fit it inside till it makes a square. Square, hello. All right. So do that twice. Thank you, mister. Come on. Now the next part is a little bit tricky and you might wanna have an adult help you. Um, you basically take the pointy end of the skewer and we're gonna put it right here where it bends, right there. And we're gonna take it and it should poke right through just like that. And we're gonna push it through and you wanna push it through all the way and then leave a little bit on the other side. And we're gonna do that four times, okay? Okay. So you should have something like this. Four skewers sticking out of each corner. Okay. Yeah. okay. Slide it over, all the way to the bottom, just like that. What? And we're gonna go around, putting each straw that okay. we cut, do that one. Good job. Stop. You're gonna take your other square, you're gonna put it right over top of that point, and just push down, let it go through, all the way till it meets the other side, just like that. We're gonna go around the whole thing, doing that. Now, because we have all these pokey ends, we're gonna go around, and Cut. we're gonna snip all pokies. Like so. Oh. Ta-da! Ta-da! Now the trick to this is to make sure your hands are good and wet, and also make sure you got plenty of bubble mixture that's good and deep. So we're gonna just take it, and we're gonna rotate every side like this. Then we're gonna take the other side, rotate it like this, and we should bubble. make a bubble cube. Check it out, kids. Pretty cool, huh? Yep. Pretty cool. So that's the bubble cube. Yep. Okay, Gideon. Why? And we got our goggles on because we're trying to be safe here, okay? okay? Safety first. This next experiment is done with dry ice. You definitely need an adult to help you because dry ice is very cold. In fact, it's at negative 109.3 degrees. This ice is so cold it can burn your skin, so we need to be careful. We're gonna use gloves. Now, this experiment is called erupting smoke bubbles. Just take a uh, like a two liter bottle or something like that. Cut the top off of it. This is just some regular water. I'm gonna put some Dawn dish soap in it. We're gonna take a whisk. And stir it up, stir, 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 stir. We're just doing water and Dawn dish soap. Now remember, because this ice is so cold, I am wearing gloves. You ready to see it? Yes. 
This is our cue of dry eye. See, look, it's so cold, it fogs. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Whoa! What is that gonna do? It's making bubbles. We're only gonna touch the bubbles, okay? Watch what happens. Can I try? We made smoke bubbles. The bubbles are safe to touch with your hands because this is just the vapor from the dry ice and that's safe to touch. <laughs> what do you think, bub? Slap them, grab them. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> <laughs> so the next experiment, we're going to make a huge fog bubble. Oh. You ready for this? Now, for this, you're gonna need a big bowl. It's a nice flat round brim. And the bowl, you wanna have about a third of the way to halfway full of warm water. Now over here, I have a piece of t-shirt material that I have soaked in basically just soap with a little bit of water. What we're gonna do though, is we're gonna put it in warm water. And I don't think you're, I don't think you're gonna believe what's gonna happen. Are we ready for this? Yes. Whoa! Starts making really cool fog. We take the bubble, we take the soapy t-shirt, rub it all the way across. Yes, you did. Now watch Gideon, it's growing. Basically made a huge layer of bubble over the brim of the bowl. And as it's building up, it's making a huge, huge smoke bubble. What's that? It looks like a big egg or something. Oh. You ready, Gideon? Yes. Oh! <laughs> Whoa! Ooh. I didn't do that again. That was awesome. That was cool. So was push, push firmly cool. with this uh, t-shirt material. It's real easy. Oh, that's it! Like that. Got it. That's it! Uh oh, it's gonna bob again! It looks like a mushroom. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! It's growing! Ah! <laughs> Giddy, do you wanna pop this one? Pop it with your finger. Oh! High five. <laughs> Okay, so I figure for, for the finale, we got a bunch of dry ice left over. Fill the sink up with some warm water. Drop the whole bag of dry ice in it. See how much fog we can make. Oh, that is cool. Be pretty cool. Are you ready? Okay, so we're getting our sink filled up. Yeah. With the warm water. We got probably a good three pounds of uh, dry ice here. So yeah. we're going to see how much fog we can make. It's going to be so much smoke. Are we ready for this? Yeah. Gideon's world of science. Gideon's world of science. Woo! Okay guys, so that was our first episode of Gideon's world of science. Um, all about bubbles. Gross. Don't put it on your lips. Blow from a distance. Thank you for watching Gideon's world for science. We had so much fun, didn't we? Yeah, that was dry ice. Like it was poppy, that was dry ice smoke. And it just popped up. And that was super cool. So this was our first episode of Gideon's World of Science. Uh, we had a lot of fun with bubbles today. If you guys like the video, please let us know in the comments if you want to see more uh, science videos. Like I said, I'm not a science teacher. Uh, these aren't really lessons. It's just more of having fun with scientific things. So uh, if you like the video, let us know and we'll make more. We had a lot of fun making this. And like I said, guys, once again, always make sure you have an adult that knows what they're doing with you, like your mom or your dad. So every once in a while, we're gonna, we're gonna come out with these uh, science videos and let us know if you guys liked them and give us suggestions for, uh, for new upcoming yeah, videos. Like, yeah, like a thumbs up and please subscribe and watch my cool videos. We had fun, didn't we? Yeah. Good job. Bye. See you guys.